right, folks. I've been to the thrift store for the first time in a long time. And, uh, yeah. I decided to actually go in there after dropping a ton of crap off. So I looked in the CD section and the books and the electronics. The electronics section of my Goodwill seems to be terrible. So, at least these days. So I typically don't look there anymore. Uh, there were some things of interest that I did see there, though. And, uh, one of them was something incredible. I, I, I've never seen this at Goodwill before. It was a fully boxed original Nintendo, the action set. I'll splice in a picture here of that. Uh, that, that's incredible. The box was in fantastic shape. It's too bad it was like $125 or I would have bought that. But I did come away with some cool stuff. I came with this, there's a game here called Delta Force. Looks like, yeah, I looked it up online, it looks like some kind of tactical first person shooter from the late 90s. Uh, seems to, would work pretty well in my ni Windows 98 box, I think, so. De got a first person shooter there. Copy of Half-Life. That's always handy to have. Doesn't have the serial key though. Edutainment, Bailey's Bookhouse. I remember playing the hell out of this and like Millie's Math House and Sammy's Science House and a bunch of other edutainment games at school, at elementary school when I was a kid. So this is just pure nostalgia. It looks like this one actually works on Windows XP. So maybe this is a re-released version. I'll have to check it out at some point. Works on 95, 98 ME, 2000 XP. You need a 486 or higher to play this. Hey, that would work on the gateway. Cool. Got a random CDR, a verbatim CDR. It's an older one, you can tell, because it's 650 meg. Then, a boatload of CDRWs for a dollar each. So, I can definitely use CDRWs. That's what I primarily use to move software onto vintage hardware, so that's very useful to have. So, some pretty, some pretty nice stuff. Nothing spectacular, but some useful stuff. And here's some cool. Here's some other cool stuff. I actually found some stuff in the books section I was interested in. Stephen Hawking's universe. I don't know how many of you out there are into space, but oh man, ever since I took an astronomy class, I've been hooked on space. Space is just really cool. And uh, Stephen Hawking is one of the more skept one of the more skeptical uh, scientists I've ever heard talk about uh, certain subjects. So. This is Stephen Hawking's universe. Uh, it, apparently it goes along with the uh, TV series. I have not seen the TV series, so I might have to check that out. Just look at that. Galaxies and stuff. Space is so cool, man. Apparently it was on, on BBC. Cool. And the thing that I, the thing that caught my eye the most, a Carl Sagan book. Oh yes. My favorite scientist of all time, Carl Sagan. What a guy he was. And finding any of his material is just fantastic. So I'm going to be looking forward to taking a look at some of this. Look at that. There's just some awesome stuff in here. What is this? Seiko. I guess it's some kind of clock. Weird. Anyway, someone's using it as a bookmark, I'm sure. Yeah, there's the spacey pictures. Scattered fires and shattered worlds. Now, how cool does that sound? Take a look at the sun. That's crazy. This just goes in such detail about space. It's just really cool stuff to read. I can't get enough of space, so this stuff is pretty cool. Is there anything... Interesting in the Stephen Hawking book. Oh, yeah, look at that. The ever-expanding universe. There's Einstein. Yeah, very different type of book than the other one. But a lot more history, it seems like, in this one than, than the Carl Sagan one. I ha I'll have to read both of these uh, at some point and, take, and uh, check them out. It's pretty cool reading material. So... I got some CDRWs, a CDR, uh, some computer games, and some science books. I'm happy. So there you go. That's the thrift store scores for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.